Live, local, late breaking. WPPF 25 News at 9. The next big thing could soon be coming out of Palm Beach County. Coming up, we're going to talk with the philanthropist Tank Investor about what they look for when it comes to helping young entrepreneurs. That story is next. Stick around. We'll be right back. So here we are just a week out from this year's Philanthropy Tank Finals. Now, if you're not familiar, this is a program that gives Palm Beach County students an opportunity to pitch their own creative idea and kind of come up with that next big thing, whether it's an invention, whether it's an organization, a business, and potentially even get the funding and the mentorship to make it all a reality. So this year's finalists have already been announced. It's 14 teenagers, they're local, representing five different ideas. And we heard about each of those ideas during this nine o'clock newscast over the past few weeks. Well, today, a very special opportunity. We are talking to someone that can make those ideas a reality for these teenagers. So joining me live this morning, Tom Vining. Tom is a philanthropist investor for Philanthropy Tank. Tom, thank you so much for joining us live on the 9 o'clock newscast. First, what motivated you to become an uh, investor in this entire program? It's a great idea for these kids. Yes, and good, good morning. I've been involved with Philanthropy Tank for uh, three years, and I just love the vision, the, the sort of dual purpose of creating nonprofits, student-led nonprofits that benefit our community and the leadership skills that it teaches our youth and, and develops change makers. And you know, I've been fortunate over my long business career of having people that have had faith in me and paid attention to me and, and now it's time to pay that forward. So myself as, as well as three investors will be providing seed money uh, to start uh, several nonprofits as well as spending time with our youth to make sure they're successful. They're coming up with all different ideas. We had a young lady on just a couple weeks ago talking about sort of like a cloth, uh, re clothing recycling program that was really, really interesting. So when you're hearing all these different ideas, I got to think, I mean, they're all so creative in their own way. What are you really looking for? What really makes one of these uh, philanthropy tank folks really stand out for you? Yeah, I've seen the ideas, and there's great sort of community-based uh ideas and, and we really look at at the overall impact uh to the community and also is it sustainable um you know can the, the students pass these to to other youth leaders that are coming up in their organization because in in two years they'll be going to college or uh going on to, to bigger and better things and so um you know we want to look at the total impact and is it a is it a project that can be passed along and relevant and i think you said this year you know, we've got ideas that uh, are working with disadvantaged youth, stopping vaping, environmental, and uh, I think Philanthropy Tank over its seven years has had great success of, um, we've had over a thousand students that have been participated in these and created leaders uh, in our organization. That's really the, the ultimate goal is to, to create the leadership. And sometimes it's these it's these kids, these teenagers that really come up with, with some of the best ideas. They see a need out there and they want to try to fix it. What would be your advice for, for other teenagers out there in the area, ones that are not a part of this, but maybe they have a great idea, but they tend to go a little negative and say, oh, I don't have the money to do it. I don't have the resources. How can those students even start out? Yeah, well, well, um, you know, this is really starting a, a nonprofit from scratch. And so there's a lot to it. Uh, um, thinking about your vision mission, um, you know, trying to get community partners. Um, and I think the great thing and, and trying to get volunteers and the great thing is Philanthropy Tank is set up to support uh, the youth to, to get their project going. So even if they have an idea, uh, Philanthropy Tank has the resources to provide to to germinate their idea um, and to support them going forward. And, and myself as a mentor, uh, you know, I look forward to being part of that process. And you got a lot of great finalists this season. I can't wait to see what comes out of this and some of the great nonprofits as well. Tom Vining, thank you so much for joining us live this morning on the 9 o'clock. Now, you can watch the finals coming up April 11th at 7 in the evening. You just have to go to a number of different philanthropy tank social media pages and you can watch the whole thing. It's going to be good.